What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back. We're taking a look at another product from Azul. They make a bunch of awesome PC sticks and, of course, are the sponsor of today's video. Go ahead and check out the link below to check this awesome PC stick out. So, of course, speaking of PC sticks, this is known as the Access Plus. It is a fanless mini PC stick. Now, with that said, it is renowned for being one of the only PC sticks, if not the only PC stick in the entire world that actually has a LAN input. And for a lot of you guys who have, you know, high-speed internet connections and, of course, these PC sticks, usually there's issues with Wi-Fi, sometimes the PC sticks don't support 5G, sometimes they simply don't support the speeds that you need on your PC stick to stream, uh, maybe gameplay, maybe of course stream in general over Skype, or maybe just stream videos and whatever else you guys do on your PC sticks that are connected to maybe your TVs, your projectors, or maybe simply use them for Windows. Regardless of the case, there are a billion different uses for this, and of course they decided to make the second generation a little bit more powerful. It supports Windows 10 and of course is powered by 64-bit quad-core Intel Atom uh, Cherry Tail processor. It also has two USB ports, one of which of course is USB 3.0. So if you want to plug in an SSD and have this be a massive storage device as well, you guys can do that as well. Next off, there is a headphone output, but that could also be a speaker output. So if you want to plug in speakers into this, you are now set to go. Then of course, there's the little lock area and finally the Ethernet input as we said before. Finally, there is the main component and this is of course the HDMI output. Simply plug this into any HDMI device, maybe a monitor, maybe of course your TV, maybe your projector like I'm doing right here, and you should be able to have a full version of Windows 10 set to go. Now if you're looking to game, it also has an Intel HD graphics card generation 8 that allows you to play back some nice quality high definition video. There are two options on their website. One actually has 2 gigabytes of RAM and 32 gigabytes of storage and the other one has 4 gigabytes of RAM and still 32 gigabytes of storage. And the reason they have a lower amount of uh, storage in inside of the stick itself is of course for space saving but at the same time they do have an input for micro SD. So if you guys want to maybe add 128 gigabytes to this or 256 gigabytes, if those are available and in your budget, go ahead and simply purchase one of those, stick it in here, and you should have a pretty nice portable storage. Now finally, we're going to get to my review portion. I'd say this thing is pretty stellar. It has a cool little antenna for, of course, the Wi-Fi, and of course, even if you were to not use the LAN input, you should be able to get some pretty nice speeds on this. I have 100 megabyte per second internet connection. Over LAN, I got the full speed. I got around 90 to 90. 95 megabytes per second over Wi-Fi so still you guys should be set to go even if you were to not use that special little input next off the overall design I have to say it looks pretty awesome it's super portable you can fit it into your pocket it'll be comfortable inside of your pocket um, and then of course you could throw it inside of a backpack and still not have to worry about maybe getting crushed or something you'd have to worry about if should you actually have a laptop then of course you can actually take this out of your backpack and plug it into basically anywhere because you know most monitors these days and TV screens these days and even projectors seem to support HDMI so in terms of that you're pretty much set to go finally guys my main main important thing is of course performance and of course the performance isn't exactly as stellar as maybe the average computer these days the average high-end laptop these days but for a lot of people who are just simply looking to stream a bunch of tv shows browse the web every once in a while on their big screen and maybe even show off some facebook pictures or have a skype conversation this paired with maybe the remote that i reviewed a little bit back you guys should be perfectly set to go in terms of processing power and of course the hd quality is even better on this generation due to the graphics card that's also built into this. I'm gonna say this, it isn't exactly a high-end computing device if you are looking for something of that sort. Gaming can be pretty tedious and the frame rates can be a little bit lacking. But aside from that, for the average consumer out there or maybe even the average business person who are simply using this for presentation purposes and portability purposes, you guys are perfectly set to go. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If so, leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. Go ahead and check out the link below. Thank you guys for watching. This is going to be me logging off.